So I'm going to the mall, like I said, a second ago, and, um, oh my god, it's so fucking hot. I'm going to a mall that's not too close to my house, and I'm going by myself because no one wanted to go with me. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna go by myself. I'm gonna go and, um, get coffee first, and then I'm gonna head over there. It's like 30 minutes away, maybe. <laughs> I just got back from the mall. Out of the mall. I found one bag that I thought was cute. It's like this circle bag and it's from um, Gucci. But a little insight for you guys. I've never bought anything name brand before in my life. I don't, never. And like, I know I work really hard and I like deserve to like splurge a little bit and get myself something but it just kills me to like spend money on just so much money on just one thing like I don't know it just kills me to do that so I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not I like really really enjoy spending money on other people like it satisfies me more like you know how some people are like they get stressed so they go shopping and they feel satisfied or something like I feel satisfied when I'm getting stuff for other people so like spending so much money on just one thing for myself I like can't get it in my head that like I can do that like I don't I don't know I think about like I think about it I'm like you know what just do it but I also think about everything else I could do with that money and I'm like don't do it Tiana <laughs> like I can go somewhere I could travel with that money I could like spend it on somebody else like I don't know like I hey guys so I just got home um that was like the longest drive ever I don't know why it took so long it was like almost an hour and the place is only like 35 minutes away from me so that kind of sucked but I'm home so I'm gonna try and make I know I was gonna make fried Oreos but I didn't feel like stopping at the store so I'm gonna see what I have here and see what I can make maybe I'll make like um chocolate chip cookies or something so I'm gonna go see and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm gonna make chocolate chip cookies. So I'm gonna preheat the oven. I'm using these chocolate chips and the best recipe for chocolate chip cookies is literally on the back of it. So I just follow the directions for that. So I'm gonna heat the oven. Two, so one time little story time for you guys um well, let me get a drink so oh shit so um a few years ago when i lived in new york this was a long time ago um my mom was cooking something and she forgot to take out a plastic bowl out of the oven and it caught on fire obviously and my dad was not home because he was working in Brooklyn and uh, it started flaming up and we were like, oh fuck. And me and my brother were young. We were like, we had to be like 10, maybe like like nine or something like that. So it starts flaming up. So she grabs it and tries to throw it outside. And as she like throws it, a piece of the plastic caught on her hand and uh, melted like on our hand and then we had to call like fire people and everything and they came and fixed it or whatever and then my mom had to go to the hospital and she had this big scar on her hand like like huge like bad right so uh they had to like scrape it off i felt so bad for her it was really bad for a while but now if you look like you can't even really tell she like it like went away really good but yeah a little story time guys i'm sorry i had to change because it was way too hot um but all right we're gonna start um let me move the camera so you guys can see what i'm doing okay so we need flour baking soda and salt in a small bowl first so i got my small bowl flour Two 
fourths of a cup we need. Cooking, baking, all of that stuff. I think it's very, very fun. For some reason, I always picture like um, me when I'm older, like waking up super early and like making my kids breakfast, and like my husband's in bed still, and I like go and I bring him breakfast in bed all the time, like and he, so that way he starts his day like on a good note. Yeah, like, I don't know. I just feel like when you do shit like that, it's just nice, you know. It's like, hey, I'm, this is. I know you're gonna do this anyway. So why don't I just do it for you, make it easier, and you also are like happy in the morning. I don't know. I'd be thinking about the most random stuff all the time. Whenever I'm doing something, I'm thinking about like what I can do, how I can make it better, or like something like that. I don't know. Am I weird for that? What well, now we're gonna take baking soda. We need one teaspoon. These are like little heart shaped uh, little things. Boom. Boom. Okay, now we need one teaspoon of salt. Let me go get the salt so that I didn't get it before. So I got this. can add anything extra. This is what it's looking like. So now I'm just gonna fold it. Okay, so it's nice and thick. This is pretty heavy. So now I'm gonna place it on a cooking sheet. The stove's already hot, so whenever I'm ready to So, a trick to have the cookies like all come out like the same kind of shape and form, use an ice cream scooper. Make sure you have enough room in between so that way they don't like collide. And then it just becomes one giant cookie. I mean, technically you could do that, but, right? And scoop. Spray and scoop. I'm just gonna wait for these to cook. It should take like about nine to 10 minutes. So once they're done, I'll put them on here and then I'll put the other batch in and then we'll have our cookies. So I don't have much to talk about today because I didn't really do anything. I just pretty much went, I literally spent the entire day in the car practically. So, a little update for you guys, um, I haven't been posting like twice a day the past couple days because I've been exhausted, like just like mentally and like physically exhausted, like I'm so tired and I just because I haven't been getting a lot of sleep, so I need like a, I need like an, an escape, like I want to like go somewhere and like have a chill couple days like I just want to just chill you know what I mean because I've been working really really hard like not just with the YouTube like trying to get a lot of videos out but I have other stuff that I do that takes up a lot of my time and I'm extremely busy um, I don't know if you guys know but I have a clothing line and um, I'm almost sold out of everything I'm so thankful for that um, I don't really promote it that much just because I'm almost sold out so like 
what are you gonna do like just stare at the website so I'm just like I'm in the process now of creating new designs and I do everything by myself like nobody helps me with this like my mom um, does write down the shipment labels and stuff for me and sometimes she goes and ships them out when I when I'm not around like when I'm not home that it's very very hard um, to keep up with when you especially when you're doing it alone and right now I'm busy with it because the stuff is almost done like they're almost sold out I think I have like four hoodies left so now I'm starting on new designs it's a lot of work but it's definitely worth it because I really enjoy doing it and it's just fun um, I learned on my own just how to do it I googled a lot of stuff I studied how to, to just kind of start your own business on the internet who really knows that I have it so I know I don't I probably should promote it more like on my Instagram or maybe on here and stuff but I don't know I think I'm gonna show you guys the process of me like picking up the orders and stuff for the new shipment that I'm doing like for the new designs like so yeah I'm in the process of getting new stuff made I know a lot of you ladies uh, ask me when I'm restocking in the shorts that I have on there too that I'm not sure um, that's it this was venting to you guys a little bit so I get really busy so a lot of people think that I only maybe do the YouTube but I don't I also do videos for other companies and like I have other stuff that I do that I get time consumed by but hey you gotta work right a lot of people think that um how do you do this how do you get that just start like just whatever you want to do you have to work hard for it like you can't just say you want something and then never do anything to get it or you just give up after the third time it didn't work or you give up after the sixth time that it didn't go the way you wanted it to like when you give up on something like what's the point then like why did you even start like you have to put effort and time and like just have patience because nothing happens overnight like you got to put the work in and you have to trust the process trust yourself that with time everything will just work out the way it's supposed to it always does if you're unmotivated right now or unsure about something or scared to do something or whatever it is i'm giving you the advice to just take the leap of faith and do it because you won't know if you're going to be maybe amazing at it or it will be the best thing you ever did or it was exactly what you needed and you were just scared so don't let fear get in the way because when you fear things it's not good and um a lot of times when you try something and it doesn't work try again and make sure whatever it is that you failed at or you think you failed at or um something like in that kind of negative area write down what you did wrong and then write down what you can do to fix it so if it comes up in the future again you know okay this happened this time so what can i do to make it better this time or what can i do so i don't repeat the same mistake when you write things down it's like reminding yourself this is not going to happen again because I'm writing it down I'm telling myself this happened because of this so now I know not to do this and the problem will be there so I highly suggest writing things down whether it's a failure or an accomplishment because you have to you have to re remind yourself you're doing amazing too don't just remind yourself of the negative things or the problems that you're having because you don't want to live in a negative world I highly suggest writing things down. It's very, very helpful. I started doing that and I see a big difference in um, the things that I do. But yeah, just a little tip, a little advice for you guys. I'm just babbling on talking. <laughs> but I'm going to see if these are ready. Holy shit! Holy shit, guys! Why are they so big? Why are they so big? Wait. Alright guys, I am going to now enjoy these cookies because they look really good. I wasn't gonna eat any, but of course I have to. So um yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um and I will be back with more videos. 
um, maybe two videos tomorrow. I don't know though, we'll see. You know, I've been trying really hard to get um, two to three a day, but I'm sorry if I only get one. But hopefully you guys are enjoying, and I should have some more exciting content coming soon, so just bear with me, guys. Thank you for watching my videos, for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to do all three. And I will be back with more videos. So have a great day, and have a blessed rest of your day.